episode number three of Perfume Discovery. Today we have Andy Tower Au Coeur du Desert, which I guess means heart of the desert, but leave a comment if I'm wrong. Okay, let's start. Okay, so this is like even from far away already really intense. I can already like my hand is here and I can already pretty well smell it. Okay, that's like a like a really weird smell. I would say from the craftsmanship it's 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 really cool because it really gives you an impression of things that are under heat like things that are really like almost as, as if something is burning you can really like feel like an like an atmospheric pressure that is like just intense heat but on the other hand it's also smelling like as if something is about to burn so that's why so far I would not recommend it like as a perfume you could wear it's more like you buy for like an exceptional like fantasy you you've never had before because i'm really like pushed into like a memory of exhaustion and i'm in like in a desert and like just there's just burning heat and everything is dying around me that's just like how how i can describe the perfumes so, so far you can say like intensity is like insane. Like just really, really good. Aha, okay, it, it, it begins to transition now. The, the aggressiveness fades away more. I'm really, interest, I'm really interested in how this will develop. Then longevity, like I can probably already tell that this will last very long, but I'm also really curious to find out like how this smells like after one, two, three hours. Then believability, well, yeah, it really evokes um, like a intense fantasy. And that's why I think it's, yes, it's really, really well blended from a craftsmanship perspective. Okay, let's see Sex Appeal Woman. It does have sex appeal for women. It does have. It's really the sex appeal of a mind which is like kind of like unbreakable, like strong willed. Like a woman can wear this with. with dresses uh, which have like intense colors. I would say definitely red like burning red and also brown it's so crazy how this how this um fantasy really matches also the colors and matches personality it's, it's, it's a i would say it's a really good perfume it still has a little bit of this aggressiveness but that is not any longer a problem then sex appeal man yeah for men i would say it's not that suitable because when you wear this you are pushed into a cliche of a, like an alpha male you would be really pushed into this or you are pushed into like as a man, you are pushed into an oriental sphere like Turkey, all this surrounding area. 
So I would say sex appeal for women is better than in men. Next up we have if it's good for working environment. I would say no. Because if this mixes with other perfumes which are also sticking out, then you will end up totally distracted if you focus on smells. For sport? Yeah, like extreme sport, it would fit for somebody who does like extreme sport. For instance, like who is quicker in like demolishing and tearing down a building or something like this if you have a hobby like this. Then for party, I think you would be the star of the party if you would wear, wear like a super villain costume or something like a really nice costume or like for instance like um, a Roman or um, an armor from Sparta uh, or ancient Greece. Like if you would wear something like this on a party and you would wear this perfume, you would be the star and the attraction. Then for sex, in small dosage, in a small dosage for a woman, I would definitely recommend it. And for a man, if you can get over this cliche type and it blends well with your own natural smell yeah but in in small quantities then for relaxation no this is actually the the opposite of relaxation it's totally not relaxing the perfume then respectable although it's an intense perfume it doesn't make you look respectable it's just if somebody smells this, probably he will be also sucked in some kind of fantasy or something. But it's not making somebody respectable. Then style. For both genders, uh, I would say something really like sticking out. Something in bright color, something crazy. That's where this perfume would match really well. So we have the dress colors. The dress colors are black, brown and red. Then age. <laughs> okay, if you can get over this cliche, what I already mentioned, if you wear this as a man, I would say that this perfume knows no age. Okay, that's the thing we have also to talk about because the transition is like, the transition is just huge. Well, that's just like tremendously interesting because I think I totally get the story of what the perfume tries to describe because now time has passed and what happens to fire it as extinguishes and now it is also really like it is smelling like now the fire is gone everything burned down and what is left is like cool ash that's how i can describe it it's like cool air filled with ash which is just like it's just beautiful to smell it and it even gives you a tiny bit of relaxation as if the fire is now gone <laughs>